in thematic literature reviews uh, uh, the most important thing is identification of the uh, themes uh, so when we select uh, selected an area and uh, 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 the themes uh, are to be identified focused on the area so it is not like you uh, should not just simply list your sources and go into detail about each one of them. So what you needed is uh, read widely and selectively and uh, uh, into your topic area and consider themes or issues connect your sources together. So the theme identification is a very difficult stage in literature review. Sometimes you may be asked with the theme, sometimes you may select uh, wrong themes sometimes you may miss the uh, right themes so that all should not be should be avoided and we have to have a clear understanding of the research area and uh, we have to focus on focused on themes so the themes identification would be a very uh, critical significant stage in a literature review so the scholars can consult with the research guide consult with experts for the team theme identifications so that themes are connected and uh, uh, you are going to identify the research gap. Then uh, there are strategies. Uh, uh, do they present on our different solutions? Uh, sometimes some aspects are missing. We have to identify the missing, missing part in literature reviews. And how well we present uh, the existing theories uh, and uh, we should have a, a raging debate on this issue uh, uh, and uh, 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 we have to find out the trend of the uh, existing literature theories and uh, there are strategies uh, we have to keep our own voice in literature review while we are reviewing the papers uh, the our own voice uh, should be a significant one we have to have a clear understanding about the concepts and we have uh, we have to uh, uh, have our own voice uh, to the uh, and also the others here recapitulate important elements so there is a ca caution when paraphrasing so literature review is like a paraphrasing uh, method and we have to paraphrase uh, the the findings of the others uh, related with our topic so when we paraphrasing a source that is not your own be sure to represent the author's information or opinions accurately and your own words so we have to paraphrase the other's opinions uh, our own words without uh, losing the the genuineness of the information but if we do like copy and paste that will lead for the plagiarism so that should be avoided and we 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 have to read the papers and understand what uh, what what about his findings? What about his uh, methodology? Is there a, what are what are the variables? Uh, what are the connections? Uh, what are the theoretical implications, etc. And after that, we have to create our own idea of, of the author's findings, and we we write our own words. So the revise, revise, revise. The revising is very important. Are you ready to revise? Uh, spending a lot of time revising uh, the idea. So rewriting, reworking uh, is a very important part of literature review. So, uh, and you should avoid unnecessary jargon, so slangs in this literature review. It should be in an understandable manner. So uh, finally, double check that you have documented your sources and formatted the review appropriately for your discipline. So this is again, uh, very significant part. Uh, just think about this. What is the most effective way of presenting the information? What are the most important topics, subtopics, etc., that your review need to include? And in what order should you present them? Develop an organization for your review at both the global and local level. So uh, whenever you write reviews. Uh, uh, global level and local level you have to consider about the studies local level studies and uh, global level studies so there are, these are the part of uh, literature review 
literature we consist of uh, thematic literature we consist of the introduction it gives a quick idea of the topic of the literature review such as central theme or organization journal pattern and uh, it shows the themes identified and uh, you give a brief idea about what are the uh, contents to be included in this literature review and in body you can thematically methodologically chronologically you can review the uh, existing theories and conclusion you can conclude your uh, literature and you can find uh, further discussions and find the research gap so there, there are different styles of uh, literature review and i will uh, i will take you uh, to the different styles in the next video thank you